Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Last episode, we got Adia, so that's super cool. Someone from the last game. Let's continue right where we left off. Okay. So we're just back over here. Um, I probably should save, but you know what? I am not going to. I wanted auto there, but it didn't let me. Like I said, we should go save, but you know what? I'm just going to go directly for the door. Shouldn't be a problem. Build your own spell book, you can, and you'll be able to give me part, create new spells. Okay. Okay. Uh, or build. Okay. Cool. So that's just telling us more about the wizard ability or job that we just received last episode. An antidote. So yeah, don't really know how to build the spells yet, but. Which is fine. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Hopefully this will not go to the area that we need to go to. Okay, that's gross. Okay, let's go back because... Oh, back to the place here. something there. Potion. Cool. You know, pie mix in the works. Why don't we make some apple pie for ourselves? More pig. Love to see it. These battles, once again, do not give me much peeg at the moment. So, finding these chests a lot of peeg will help us be able to purchase the first couple spells. We got one from that boss battle, Heat. But, there's that second one that, you know, we didn't get yet. Okay, um, let's see, barrier. This is better... Okay, I think that is worth it, actually. It raises my defense a lot higher than it lowers everything else. So I think that's actually worth it there. Hmm? What's that? Oh, it's Her Holiness. Huh? What are you talking about? Idia? Idia, it's really you! Her Holiness can talk to us through this pendant. Ah, oh, yes. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Yes, yes, Idia. I hear you loud and clear. I'm glad that you're safe. I was so worried about you. I'm sorry, Agnes. If I had been at the ceremony, this never would have... Uh... <sighs> Let us look on the bright side. We're alive. And here we are, talking to each other again. Just you wait, Agnes. We'll get you out of there. So, where are you? Oh, why, we're around, uh, somewhere over, um, well... <laughs> oh, yes, let me ask someone. Well, on second thought, why don't you just sit still, okay? Becoming Pope hasn't done much for her sense of direction. Or her common sense. I'm quite certain that I'm somewhere inside the Kaiser's fortress in the sky. Got it. It sure makes things easier being able to talk to you like this. Yes, I'll do everything in my power to lead the two of you here. Just promise you won't do anything that might put yourself in danger, okay? Why, if anything happened to you... I promise. And I look forward to a joyous reunion. Be safe, Idia. You? Count on it. I can't wait to see you again, too. Let's get a move on you. Roger. His name fits well with sentences. Let's get a move on you. Dark Vestal Bella. Anna has already given me a report. You have failed me. Forgive me, your majesty. <laughs> We're very disappointed in you, young lady. Not only have you proven too incompetent to dispatch a mere boy, but to have your asterisk stolen as well? I think death is a suitable punishment. Don't you? <laughs> Come on now. No last words? Belay there! Your Majesty, I, Kuhulun, will 
serve the sentence in my mistress's stead. My life my mistress gave to me. Honored I am to give mine for her. A fair deal, is it not? Come, Lady Anna, do the deed! So the man says, what shall we do, your majesty? Kahulan, you would swear allegiance to this woman over your Kaiser? Just so. T'was my mistress whose magics breathe new life into my withered body. T'was she who summoned me from that ancient battlefield, who gave me strength to fight anew. If Lady Anna will not do the deed, then I shall, by mine own hand! Wait, Ku. My lady, shed no tears for me. To give one's life for one's mistress. There is no death more honorable. I bid ye farewell! Stay your hand! Your Majesty, still, you would demand my mistress's life? Your loyalty is admirable. I will overlook your mistress's incompetence. In return for this mercy, I command that mistress and servant fight as one and atone for this failure. <sighs> Aren't you being a teensy bit lenient, your majesty? How will we keep the rest of your minions in line if we don't punish the ones who fail you? Death will not absolve your negligence. If you would atone for your failures, then do so by setting them right. Fight, Dark Vestal Bella, with your loyal servant at your side. Fight for your lives. Fight, and if your enemy eludes you, fight again. You shall not rest until your quarry is no more. Fight and fight, and should your powers not be up to the task, then you will die fighting. Yeah. Yes, your majesty. Your majesty. Your words ring deep. We shall not fail. Mistress, your vassal stands at your side. Let us finish those scoundrels. To arms! Let us do just that. Well played, your majesty. The battle should be a sight to behold. Never underestimate the power of second chances. Wouldn't you agree, Anna? I would indeed, your majesty. Um, okay. Okay, cool. Keyboard? We good? Okay. Okay, my keyboard is like dying out of power. Okay, party chat. What's yours is mine. Once more unto the breach, Adia. Onward. Whoa, hold your horses, you. Aren't you forgetting something? Forgetting something? Oh, perhaps I should stretch my legs first. You're really something else, you, and I don't mean that as a compliment. Forget stretching. What we need are some good healing items. Let's die... Let's stop by Eternia to stock up before we run into trouble. Healing items, well sure, they would be quite handy, but they didn't bring much peeg. I thought that might be a problem, have no fear. You'll foot the bill, idea? Wow, you really are a hero. Oh, too, too bad, I'm flat out broke after dishing out for those. But I know just the ticket for when we're low on funds. We'll just use half seas. Half seas? What's this all about? It's an ability any good freelancer knows. It'll make any item you use work on all your friends. I mean, like, if I use an item, it won't work on me, but you as well? Exactly. I mean, if you want to get technical, it'll only work half as well on each of us. But the effects are always halved, so you actually get more out of each item the more friends you have. It's amazing. So if eight this morning, we would have shared. We could have shared. Uh, no, half season. Don't work on... Is it macarons or macaroons? Macarons. Or cake. Chocolate. Right. Cool. I don't know the difference. I know one's a little thingy and the other one's a cookie, right? 
I don't know, I'm not French, nor am I a baker, so... Okay, I'm gonna run out of... Um... MP with... Uh... I would forget his name, you. So is this a new map? Because if Eternia is right here, are we just next to Eternia? Maybe so. Okay, well that's fair enough. Okay, let's head into Eternia. It's the same Eternia from last game, though. It has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I like going to old places from the other game. It's fun. So, this is Eternia. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Can you expect it any less? We're talking about my hometown, after all. You probably don't need me to tell you this, but... Healing technology in Eternia is so advanced, people call it the Land of Immortality. Yeah, we learned that from last game. Energy is converted into white magic. Which is delivered throughout the city by those cables. See them? Yes, I've read about it. Even if you come down to the cold, you're cured in two shakes. Astrologer. Okay. Let's go. In the central healing tower. Got it. All right, that is where we head to then. But we will first. So you need to buy. Well, okay. Okay. So that's just saying that. Hey, buddy. Uh, if you buy a spell, everyone can use it. If I end up asleep, could you give me a little? Just, then wake me right up. Okay. Uh, prior, okay. Thanks, I feel wide awake now. If your allies fall asleep during a bad friendly, uh, oh! That's actually a good tip. If my guy falls asleep, we can just bop him real quick. Okay, there's the inn. Any new ingredients that we should buy here? No, we actually have one of everything, so we'll be good on that end. Magic is what I need for sure. I need to buy... Heal. Oh, I can't... Okay, I need to buy these for sure. Then heal. Mm, we'll, we won't buy antidote for now. I also want to save a little bit of money for this. Okay. I think this will help. Let's buy a mace. Ooh, mythic hood. This will help. We already got the helm. This will help too. Oh, now we can't afford that. Mittens. Let's buy two of those. Can I sell old stuff? Oh, I can buy it now. Okay, cool. Let's go to equipment. You. Um. Which one is? Wait, oh, left hand. Okay. The mason hand. Hood. Man robe. Mittens. And then. Okay, nothing good there. We got the helm. We put that on there to be better. And the mittens. There we go. Okay, so we got the equipment and the magic that we needed. Go ahead and give it a quick saber rule here. Okay. Do you need anything else? No, not really. Uh, let's head into the central healing tower here. Why does it look like Zeus? Two stars have crossed, and yet their light is still too faint. The light must shine brighter, lest the darkness swallow them whole. But were that star to also align? Yes, the light of three stars just might. I'm back, Pops! And yet it is the twinkle in this fourth star that intrigues me. Hmm. Are you a harbinger of fortune or calamity? 
How I wonder. Is that Adia's grandpa? I've never seen anyone so big. He's like a a, a death troll? It's no use. He can't hear a word we're saying. <clears throat> hey, Gramps! You got cobwebs in your ears? I said we're back! <laughs> oh, <laughs> welcome back, little missy. You needn't shout. I'm right here. Yeah, and we've been trying to get your attention for the past ten minutes. Is that so? <laughs> How very rude of me. I had confined myself to my thoughts, you see. Quite oblivious to the sublunary world. But no matter, for my eyes are open, and clearly you have found young Eugene Olja. I sure did. And it's all thanks to you, Pops. I must thank you as well. You and Idia saved my life. <laughs> Glad and I am to know the stars spoke true. Still, that's some fortune telling. Everything happens like you said it would. The stars see all, little Missy? Well, perhaps not all, but enough to give us insight into the future. Hmm, the future. And yet the future of this world and its people. I fear it is clad in darkness. What? Darkness? Hmm. Ooh. The Empire has struck. The Crystal Guard is in shambles. And war again befalls the Duchy. Our world, once saved, finds itself in crisis anew. And if the stars speak true... Hmm. I fear this is but a portent of things to come. The fall of the Crystal Guard was just the beginning? Forsooth, calamity is nigh, and the two of you cannot hope to stem the tide. Not alone. Yes, we must awaken Tiz Aurier. What? Tiz Aurier? The one who survived? The very same, young you. Tiz Aurier, sole survivor of the Great Chasm. Tiz Aurier who journeyed with Pope Agnes and the young lady beside you to purge the crystals of shadow and save this world. Tis Aurier, without whose strength we will surely be lost to darkness once more! Are you all right? <clears throat> Forgive me, my dear boy. It seems that my emotions got the better of me. But that is only because the situation is grave indeed. Do you understand? Well, certainly Tis's strength would be invaluable to us on our quest. But hasn't he... Yeah. Tis has been asleep for two whole years now. It's as if... Oh, he's given up the ghost. Precisely. At the moment... Tiz's body is but an empty vessel. An empty... vessel? Hmm. And so our task is clear. We must reunite Tiz with his soul. But even all of Eternia's healing technology combined couldn't bring him back. <laughs> Fortunately, I have been doing some research of my own. Behold the Soul Stone. Can you not feel the profound spiritual energy it exudes? Place this gem in the chamber where Tis Aurea rests, and it will channel the energies of the celestial realm to rouse him from slumber. Is... is that even possible? Believe me or no, the choice is yours. But would you not say it is worth a shot? Idia! Are you kidding me? It's worth more than a shot! If there's a chance, any chance that we can bring Tiz back, I'll take it. He wasn't just a hero. He was my friend. And I always believed that he'd come back to us someday. 
Idia. <laughs> the two stars shine as one and are all the stronger for it. Tis Oria rests deep within the halls of Eternian's central command. The White Magic Circulation Hub. Yes, my little stars. Evade the ever-watchful eyes of the Empire and revive Tis Oria at all costs. You got it. Let's go, you. Did you hear that, Anya? Awaken Tis? Could it truly be possible? If the old astrologer's right, all we need is the Soul Stone. Tis, whose eyes closed that day for what we feared was forever. Tis, whose name we cried and cried. We can see him again, Agnes. Why, just the thought of Tis smiling and laughing once more. I am a captive here and can do nothing. Still, it would be a dream come true. Forget about me, Idia. You must do whatever you can to save Tiz. Don't be silly, Agnes. We'll save both of you. Isn't that right, you? Just wait, Your Holiness. This time, we won't let you down. Tiz. Let's do it. Okay, let us go to Central Command. And that's where we will find Tiz. In uh, that one heart chamber that actually was used to um, contain Victoria from last game. Which is kind of cool. Alright, I think we bought all the equipment and magic that we needed. So we can pretty much just get out of here. Tell me, Idia. Just what was Tiz like anyway? I mean, saving the world with Pope Agnes. He must have been a modern day legend. He was really just an ordinary guy, you know? The friendly, happy-go-lucky type. Happy-go-lucky? And he saved the world? That's amazing! Well, he had a diligent side too, of course. He was always sorting his inventory, you see. Easygoing and diligent? Why, it's the best of both worlds! He also had feelings for Agnes, but he could never quite act on them. Yeah, in matters of love, he could be a real blockhead. Sometimes it was painful just to watch. He saved the world, but was too shy and modest to express his love? He's my hero! Um, blockhead wasn't supposed to be a compliment, you blockhead. Don't you see, Idia? Tis is just something else! If you say so. In any case, let's get moving and go save your hero! Right. What? Look. Up ahead. Is it another troll? Oh, this is guards. You hear me, men? Attacking or fleeing. I want all Eternians and their sympathizers eliminated. Kill every last one of them. Aye, aye, sir. I don't know nothing about eating sympathizer healer men, sir, but I know how to kill, sir. Good. And don't let anyone pass. Not even a flea. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, hey, do you got a fleece water, sir? Aye! Yeah! Alright, we fight them. Imperial soldiers! One, two, three, I count about a thousand. That doesn't sound like a very accurate count. <laughs> yeah, you got me. The point is, there's too many. You're right. There's no way we can take them out all at once. But if we pick them off one by one, we just might have a chance. Right. We just might. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, whoa, wait. Just wait a minute. There's too many of them. <sighs> but how else are we supposed to get to Tiz? Who figured you were the headlong type? There's such a thing as being too direct, you know. Look, there's another road to the east. It's a bit of a trek, but it'll get us there safely. Alright, so instead of that way, we go this way. Fair enough. That is where we go then.
Okay. We'll just keep Anya. Ooh, t Yu doesn't have... I didn't fix Yu's MP. We have an Aether, but I don't want to use it. So we might have to use it, because I didn't go to the inn. So I'm a little dumb. That's alright, it's not that big of a deal. Enemy gets for a strike. That's that's mean. Oh, that can't be hurt by swords. That's a little annoying. Okay, you will have to use a sec. Okay, so we're we're wasting a lot of MP here. I might have to run back to town or something if necessary. I'm beat. Trekking through these snowdrifts. Yeah, it's exhausting. Huh? Is that a village ahead? It sure is. We should rest up. The going's only gonna get tougher from here. Yeah, probably. There's a village. Okay, so we gotta go through that cave. Look, there's a village here. Oh, we've been. We were here last game. This is where the whole plague, and this is where. Oh. I feel like this place has more significance than we... Okay. Uh... Let's step forward. What is this place? The village of Gravemark. At least that's what people call it now. Years ago, disease swept the land and claimed the lives of the villagers. It's been a ghost town ever since. The Great Plague. Right. It's also the town where my parents were born. I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, no, don't worry about it. It was years before I was even born. On a happier note, look, isn't it pretty? Oh, a magnolia. They're often seen in cold climes like Eternia, poking through the snow to bloom. It's also known for its sweet fragrance, which is said to be able to rouse people from stupor or slumber. Wow. You're a regular walking encyclopedia, aren't you? Strange, though. It's blooming out of season. There's an old saying. Like a falling star, a magnolia out of season. That's how rare a sight it is. Well, maybe a star is about to fall. <laughs> well, I'll believe it when I see it. Anyhow, I'd rather not sleep in a graveyard. Let's make camp outside the village. That sounds like a plan. The moon sure is shining bright tonight. Cool. Okay. Okay, meet anyone? Ooh, is there gonna meet anyone here? What's going on? Wake up! Did you hear that crashing sound? Stuffed. Dessert. Phew. Insist. Talk about a sound sleeper. I'll just have to go take a look by myself. Okay, guys, we're going to end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well on the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.